Now let's add icons inside these input text boxes. So to add that, I'm going to search for React icons and click on this first reacticonsgithubio website. And right from here, you can install the React icons inside your project. So let me first install this, copy this command back to the project, open the terminal, and here I'm going to execute a command npm install react icons hyphen hyphen c. This is going to install these React icons inside my project. Once I have it, let me start the development server again. npm run dev. This will start the development server. Let me close this. And I'm going to back to the top right here. And as you can see, to import this icon, you have to just say import and the icon path. In this documentation, the icon is used from the font awesome icon. Here you have different options. So you can use a different icons inside this project. I'm using hero icons. So let's search for the hero icons. Here it is. Let me click on it. And from these icons, I'm using add the red icon and the fingerprint icon, this one. I'm going to copy this import statement and then specify that right here. And instead of this icon name, now I'm going to copy this icon name. So just click on it. This will copy this icon name, specify that right here. As well as I'm using this fingerprint icon, this one. Click on it and specify here comma and then specify the icon name. So we have here two icons. So let me use these icons inside my input text box. So right down here to this first input text box, right here, I'm going to add a span tag. Inside the span tag, I'm going to add this add the red symbol. So copy this component and specify that right here. Or you can just self close this component. That's upon you. Just out of that, to this span tag, we specify some Delphin classes. So I'm going to specify class names, icon. This is my custom class. Then I'm going to add Tailwind class flex, items, center, and padding x4. These all are the Tailwind classes. Just out of that, let me save the changes. You can see I'm going to have this icon here. Let me increase the size of it. So you can access the property of this icon, which is size. And I'm going to specify size 25 pixel. Save this. You can see this will increase the size of this icon. And just out of that, I'm going to copy this font tag specify that to the second input text box right down here and instead of this icon i'm going to grab the second icon and then specify that right here save this you can see i'm going to have this fingerprint icon here just for that let me add some styling to it so inside this form module.css inside this file let me add some style to it so i'm going to first specify the color to these icons so let me copy this input text because inside that we have these icons so I'm going to say here input text, then I'm going to specify here plus and select all the descendant elements, something like this. And then I'm going to specify here color, which is going to be the hex color. So I'm going to specify here hex color, something like this. This will change the icon color. You can see now just out of that what I want when I focus on this input text box, I want to change the color of this icon. So to do that, let me just add here input text and add here pseudo selector, which is focus. So when we focus on the input text box, I'm going to select all the descendant elements. So I'm going to add here plus asterisk like this and then change color of it. So copy this color property, specify that here. And instead of this gray color, I'm going to specify the indigo color here in the hex value. Save this. And now when I click on this input text box, you can see I'm going to have this color to this icon. Just out of that, what I want, I want to see my password. By clicking on this icon, I want to see and hide my password. So what we are going to do is I'm going to create on click event on this fingerprint icon. So I'm going to back to the login at the top. I need to first create react state. So right here, I'm going to say constant in the array. We need to say show set show. And I'm going to specify equal to sign and say use state. Now we don't have this use state function. So we need to import this. Right down here, I'm going to say import in the curly braces. I'm going to say use state from React. Just out of that, to this use state, we specify false value, the default value of this password field. Just out of that, what I want when I click on this icon, I want to invert this show value. So, to do that, right down here, as you can see, we have this button here. So, instead of creating on click event to this icon, I'm, I'm going to create that on this span tag. Here, I'm going to say on click. And here I'm going to call the arrow function and say set show. And then I'm going to specify here show. And as I said, I want to invert the value. So I'm going to pass here exclamation mark, something like this. Let me save this. And at the end, what we need to do is instead of this type password, 
here i'm going to add curly braces and add template string and then i'm going to add here dollar curly braces and say here show and call here if we have true inside the show then print text otherwise print password save this back to the project and now if i type something here and when i click on this spawn tag this will just change the password to text at the end let me just place over here cursor to this icon so inside this form module.css right down here i'm going to select input text and then i'm going to say here not type is equal to email if the input text box is not a type of email then call here tilde operator and then select the spawn tag and on the spawn tag i'm going to create hover effect and then i'm going to select all the descendant elements of this spawn tag something like this and here i'm going to specify this color and cursor is going to be pointer let me save these changes now if i hover on this button you can see i'm going to have this cursor and this will change the color of this icon so now you can see using this button i can change the type of this input text box